Hello everyone, you are welcome to Anchor Network where you get reliable and authentic news that are so crucial to you. I say big thank you to everyone who has been part of this channel and who has taken time to subscribe. And if you are here to subscribe, I say please click the red subscribe button and also the bell icon. The bell icon will allow you to get notified anytime we publish any news. Take It Back Movement launches GoFundMe account for sure. Director of the Take It Back Movement, Joshua Adeoye, said the launch of the GoFundMe account was necessitated by the huge bail condition slammed on Shuore. The Take It Back Movement has launched a GoFundMe to raise funds for the bail of pro-democracy campaign, campaigner and publisher of Sahara Reporters, Omoyele Shuore. Shuore was arrested by the Department of State Services on August 3, 2019 for calling on Nigerians to take to the streets in peaceful demonstrations to demand for a better country. On October 4th, Justice Ijoma Ojuku of the Federal High Court, Abuja, ordered his release on bail. The judgment submitted that the judge submitted that Shoure should provide 100 million naira and two shorties in like sum. The judge also said that one of the shorties must own land property and deposit 50 million naira and show evidence of tax payments since 2016. Why Shoure was barred from traveling outside Abuja and also speaking to the press. Speaking on Monday, director of the Take It Back movement, Joshua Adeoye, said the launch of the GoFundMe was necessitated by the huge bail condition slammed on Shoure. He said, despite a blatant lack of evidence to support the laughable charges brought against him, Shoure has been kept in detention for over 60 days and counting. Also, despite a court order to release him, on bail. Now the government has demanded a king's ransom for him, 100 million naira, which together with the 50 million naira being demanded for another revolutionary mandate amounts to 150 million naira. This is in addition to other equally suspicious conditions which we intend to appeal. We tend to unite behind Omoyele Shoure in cash and in kind by raising funds to meet those demands. At the time of filing this report, the account had raised around $480. On September 30th, Justice Taiwo Taiwo of the Federal High Court, Abuja, had granted Shoure Bay and ordered the DSS to release him after he met the condition given by depositing his international, international passport with the court. But despite that ruling, President Muhammadu Buhari's regime refused to free him, attracting condemnation from across the world. The government is charging Shoure for insulting Buhari and planning to bring down his government. Charges the pro-democracy campaigner, democracy campaigner, vehemently denies and that had been described by legal practitioners across and beyond Nigeria as laughable and baseless. The matter was adjourned to November 6, 7th and 8th for accelerated trial by the courts. So guys, uh, that is the latest because everybody has been asking where, where do they really want the, uh, him to see to get that kind of money because that is just what they are planning for. They are looking for a way to make sure he's still being kept in detention because they know, of course, he's not going to get that kind of amount of money. You know, they talk, uh, you know, all the charges they slammed against him, uh, cyber uh, crime, um, uh, insults on the president, uh, on, on the, uh, on, on the president. Muhammad Buhari and also trying to overthrow his government and money laundry. Those are the charges they are charging against him, they are slamming against him. So the first uh, bail condition was just for him to deposit his international passport, which they refused. And they were coming to tell us that the president was not aware of the whole thing. Not until immediately they didn't obey the, that court order, they took him again. To cause, and that was when they had to like give their own uh, another bail condition that is very very difficult to be able to meet up. Is that not wickedness? So what are we talking about? The likes of a uh, Femi Additional will come out and be telling us, oh, when they went to UN uh, General Assembly uh, meeting in New York, oh, his he air sweats, oh, because of the way they were, they were rendering uh, comium onto the presidents. Oh, they were singing his praises or with all the things that he did concerning fight against corruption. And everybody was like, of course, what are you going to say in the first place? The likes of a uh, first source, Kayamudis, need to come and interpret the meaning of why 
he was not granted that bail or the DSS did not release him. They will come and say, oh, they will be caught so that they did this and that. But they are just, you know, just making a mess of the whole thing. This man will come out again. Oshomole, that one, is, his mouth is very, very, you know, he talks very well. They have not been able to say anything. Even uh, Shionkuti has already called out a, a, a Tinumbu that what are you guys doing? Everybody, you know, they are all keeping quiet. They are all keeping quiet because of this power or because of this fear or because of this selfish interest. Is that why they are keeping quiet? The, in the first place, what the, the gentleman has called Nigerians to, you know, calling their attention to the bad governance is not new to everybody. Everybody is aware. Even those ones that even surrounded the surrounding the president they know it and it's the same thing that's why they are saying uh, they are talking about corruption is it not the same corruption that uh, Omoyele Shawari was talking about before they, they arrested him talking about the corruption going on the same thing the same charges and the same things that they are trying to you know according to the vice president they are trying to rob him in all of those things. he doesn't know anything and he said it's the Kaba that are doing that is it not the same corruption but one thing that is pertinent whether is the one that has done it or he's been involved in corruption or his ADs have been involved in corruption you know that is not what we are talking about all we know that there's corruption going on and that's one of the things Shawari has been talking about and the unfortunate thing there is that a lot of people a lot of Nigerians don't even know that there's somebody uh, called a Shawari some people would like oh who is this who is he who is he who is the person I don't know him more. you can imagine that kind of a thing you know that's to tell you the level of ignorance that you know has really engulfed a lot of people, even the ones that even know, they are not even, they are even less concerned. Some, some will say, oh, it is what he gets, he, 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 he gets what he's looking for. You know, different, different people. You just feel people that are really trying their best to make sure that this guy is released. A lot of people who cannot even contribute money, people who have voice, they've spoken and they've said they condemn all these things, all these shenanigans that have been going on within the presidency and, you know, and the court and the judiciary so it's very very unfortunate and people are still like you know they are going to support him no matter what no matter what and that is why this go for me is you know is being organized for people to be able to get involved and just like they have said they have said they said uh, they have gotten a uh, 480 dollars you know it, it has not even gone anywhere it has not gone anywhere but they are still going to you know review the thing because they said they are going to go to court that they, they will not accept that kind of big condition. Did he kill anybody? You can imagine now, some people are making, uh, they are making a case or defending the Buhari's uh, uh, AD, his confidence, this uh, Nasa Dano, that uh, is not money laundry. They found 200,000 pounds on him and the, the, the Buhari supporters are saying it is not money laundry. So if it is not money laundry, what do you call that? If it's not money laundry, what do you call that? So that is how the whole thing have degenerated to. Indiscipline, uh, 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 dishonesty, all manner of things amongst the people. They always say that uh, the, the people get the kind of leaders they deserve. So if people always tend to close their eyes against or to, to, to truth, that is what they will get. The unfortunate thing there is that the ones that are really truthful, they are not many. They are not many. And it is very difficult to hear them, to hear them loud and clear. So, guys, uh, that is just uh, the new developments concerning Shiwari because of all this, we've been like, oh, we've not really heard anything. What is going on? Apart from when they said they are going to go to court, that they are going to reject that a uh, bad condition. But now, you know, I think they want to be doing everything side by side, side by side, so that at least either of those two will really work. So that. They change the bail condition or if really if they, they are able to get the money good and fine uh, someone say what is the account number i'm willing to donate even if it is one thousand naira i will pay to the account hmm. the person is talking against the abuari you know just have to leave it like that but the person is willing to pay that irrespective no matter how small no matter how big it is but the most important is the the heart behind it the readiness behind it. Someone says, I sympathize with him, but can't give Kobo na Yoruba a fair job. Mm. The account number, please. Uh, he deserves what he gets for nobody beg, nobody's beg, beg him. 
these are the people that we are talking about then you guys will continue to be in this condition if you cannot speak for yourself and somebody is speaking on your behavior and saying the person is you know is just looking for a cheap popularity no worries we hope that he gets out of that place and somebody has already said you know if they cannot advise his wife to tell him to go back to go back to his family let nigeria continue he's not going to be he's not going to suffer for life he, the ones that think that you know nigeria is good for them let them continue in that let them continue you know wallowing in that uh, irregularities of course some people are used to smiling suffering and smiling so it's not a big deal so just like the way some people were like talking about uh, the northerners that the northerners, northerners never complain that they are they are tired of a poverty they love it and that is how it is so many nigerians they love suffering so some people have never even known you know you know what it, it takes to have a good life you know for your environment to be well okay but the politicians they are living in affluence they will tell you that nigerians is poor nigeria you know you know the the headquarter of poverty is in nigeria and at the end of the day can we say the same thing to, to our politicians? Can we say our politicians are poor? Our leaders are not poor, but the people they are leading are poor. So it's so ironical. At the end of the day, you are living in affluence. The people you are leading are living, you know, in abject poverty. So how do you relate with those two things? How can you marry them together? It's very, very, it's unheard of. The people you are leading, they are living in abject poverty, 90%. How many uh, people... How many rich people do we have? How many people have rich people do we have in Nigeria? 90%, even not 95% of the population of the of the country are living in abject poverty. And the so-called leaders are living in affluence, living extravagant life. And they are they are they are proud and they are not ashamed that of that. They are not ashamed of that. Maybe they are proud of it. It is that when they see a citizen, you know getting poorer and poorer that is what is give that gives them that hedge and that what gives them you know it gives them joy because if it does not give them joy i'm not sure i'm sure they would have done something better they would have done something better and the so-called people that you know we, are, we need to unite together they are saying different things everybody is singing different songs so guys i would like to hear from you you know from the comment section let the discussion continue thank you very much bye